Mike, today we're taking a look at your childhood and introducing a bunch of American listeners to Mr. Blobby. Oh, why? <laughs> oh, no. It was highly requested. I, I'm not sure we need to do this, but I'm ready nonetheless. For those uninitiated unfortunately <laughs> those who who still have their innocence <laughs> yeah yeah mr yep. Mis, mr blobby is a character that initially appeared on bbc one's variety show noel's house party which aired from 1991 to 1999 the show featured numerous segments including games interviews and more we've got a link to the wikipedia article about the show in the show notes if you want to check that out but uh we're focusing on one particular character on that show Noel's House Party introduced the character, Mr. Blobby, as part of a prank on celebrities. The show presented Mr. Blobby as if he were a real children's television character. They would interact with Mr. Blobby, often getting frustrated by the character's immature behavior and hijinks. It's probably worthy, if you're not aware, to that we talk about Mr. Blobby's physicality. You really should go look at an image. Mr. Blobby is a pink figure. I would say kind of like bowling ball pin like shaped uh with yellow polka dots and large green eyes he doesn't speak he just says blobby in different tones of voice to express emotion while making random noises kind of like a pokemon really uh check out the youtube links in the show notes so you'll get a true feel for the character of mr blobby i find the character pretty unsettling between his appearance and that electronic voice that he has and the general uncertainty right and like that that was definitely a thing like uh, unease is the way that mr blobby would would put upon the uh, celebrity guests in the 90s blobby was everywhere and i loved him like all children did uh he ran around a bunch of places across different shows bouncing into various things and causing general mayhem it, it, mr blobby was very much a cultural icon in the uk I could see that. You know, sometimes when you're a kid, you just see sort of the idea of the character. And then as an adult, you're like, oh, that's creepy. Um, mm -hmm. And also, I think just times have changed, right? In the 90s, you're watching this on broadcast television, right? Or cable and not 4K YouTube. <laughs> it's no. much, much more upsetting. In the most 90s example of all, the character appeared on a show called Get Your Own Back, where he lost a game and was drenched in slime as the 90s often did to people on TV shows. The decade made for some magical television. Get Your Own Back was kind of like a kid's court, uh, where, <laughs> in a way, where if I'm remembering it right, you would bring someone to the show who had wronged you in some way, usually a family member. Incredible. Uh, and if it was deemed that they had done wrong, the way that you would get your own back on them is they would be slimed. I'm going to introduce this to my family. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. it's the british version uh, of uh you know the awkward thanksgiving dinner you just slime people love it character of mr blobby escaped british media appearing as a regular character on a danish version of noel's house party that show was received pretty poorly and was cancelled after only six of the 13 planned episodes <laughs> ouch <laughs> That's not good. He he also escaped the 1990s, popping up on talk shows and game shows in the UK, including Britain's Got Talent in 2023. I don't know if Mr. Blobby and Britain's Got Talent, those two ideas really go together. I'm not sure. Look, look, uh, I look, think look favorite... they're going for that millennial, you know, heartache. That's what, what they want. I guess so. Uh, I think my favorite example of Mr. Blobby's media empire is the fact that he had a Christmas single named somewhat unsurprisingly Mr. Blobby, which is now playing in my head because I know that song very well. It peaked at number one on the UK singles chart for three weeks in December of 1993. The music video is in the show notes, and yeah, it is very catchy. It'll be stuck in your head for a long time. Uh, mm -hmm. This song has been called one of the worst songs ever recorded, which, yeah, agreed. Uh, one critic claimed Mr. Blobby was, quote, trying to kill music. That holiday season, Mr. Blobby was featured across a range of merchandise, and the first of his three direct-to-VHS specials was released. That's the true sign of a 90s success, I think. Yeah, yeah. Straight, straight to VHS. Despite the character's popularity in the 90s, the blowback to the Christmas single wasn't the only criticism lobbed at the Pink Being. In March 1994, Elizabeth Colbert of the New York Times wrote, and I quote, Mr. Blobby's rise to stardom has provoked anguished commentaries about just what he stands for. 
Some commentators have called him a metaphor for a nation gone soft in the head. Others have seen him as proof of Britain's deep-seated attraction to trash. Let me tell you, New York Times, all right? You go worry about what's going on over there. Don't you come over here and attack our blobby, all right? Now now I'm like all for it now. New York Times, get out of here. Uh, Mr. Blobby was also tied to three failed theme parks where the character's likeness have been on, oh, no. uh, used on attractions. And in true ingenious fashion, while I was reading this today, Stephen, I was reminded by sight memory sense memory and taste memory that there was a mr blobby soda and i used to drink it as a kid it was like a pink lemonade wow was it good i liked it but i also like mr blobby so maybe you know it's all wrapped up in one huh possibly before we finish i'd like to talk about the people who brought mr blobby to life the original man in the suit was barry killerby a classically trained shakespearean actor that's so sad it's so sad <laughs> <laughs> it's quite the to jump in career. He retired from the character in 2012 when it was taken over by Paul Denson, who said putting on the suit was surreal. He had like grown up watching Mr. Blobby. Uh, Killer B is still involved in the Blobby YouTube channel. However, you can't escape Mr. Blobby. Today I learned there was a Mr. Blobby YouTube channel. Yeah. You should like and subscribe. I don't think I want to, really. I think that was a time in my life that I don't necessarily look to repeat. They're, look, they're doing the Lord's work over there. I, you know what? I'm not going to... Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's someone's work. I, I'm not, I'm not sure exactly who's to blame. I'm going to give credit to Desmond for sending this in, but this has been requested many times. Desmond was the first. Thank you all, I guess. And hello, Discord. And hello, Discord. Yeah, the Relay Member Discord is going to love this. Yeah. If you think to yourself, Relay Member Discord, what's that about? Uh, go what is it, to- Stephen? What is it? Well, it's a place for members to hang out Whoa. and chill with their favorite people. It's part of the Relay Membership. There's a link in the show notes to find out more about that. Uh, you can also find a bunch of links about Mr. Blobby in the show notes. Um, go watch the Christmas music video and just see what happens to your brain. Mike, until next time we plumb the depths of your childhood for content, say goodbye. Blubby, blubby, blubby.